Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video, and this will probably be my last video on The Flash Season 3, so as it's come to a wrap. So at first, I didn't intend to make this video, but it has been highly requested in streams and in the comments. So people were like, how did Savitar die to a bullet in the back? Why did this happen? So I'm going to do my best to explain why this happened and all the other reasons. So because this is my last video on The Flash Season 3 and my last Savitar video for a while, unless I do some recaps, which I'm intending to do, it would be awesome if you guys could leave a thumbs up and maybe we could try and reach 100 likes, which would be awesome. So yeah, but anyway, let's get into the topic at hand. Why did Savitar not dodge the bullet? So let's get this into our heads Barry is not able to see everything around him like 24 7 so he has normal peripheral vision but obviously that doesn't extend around all the way to his back so basically as Savitar is totally focusing on running and killing Barry in the ending scene he definitely wouldn't have been able to see Iris from behind and that she was going to come and shoot him so basically in the TV show Barry sees everything at normal speed until he focuses in and he chooses to use his powers so people were like Barry should have easily seen that coming well no because first off Barry is running from a standstill and number two he is injured after being phased out of the suit like surely there is some damage to his back because he totally just kicked him out of the suit and phased him through so he definitely had some damage and he was just in a fight with the flash so yeah maybe he's close to being passed out and then he was unfocused making him more vulnerable to attacks not in his vision and even attacks in his vision and he does not constantly see everything to be super slow as it's been a bit confusing to do with that so that is a big misconception in the show that I feel like they should address a bit more maybe the science behind it as they haven't really touched on that since season one but also the reasoning behind his death at the hands of Iris is to show that Iris is a strong character she's a strong individual and that she isn't a damsel in distress and it's to portray this image that women are strong as well in this modern day I think that's perfect and that they're just like men as Joe would have done the same thing in that situation he would have definitely shot Savitar so it was a mix between irony and empowerment so I thought it was fitting as throughout the season Iris has been the one with the blade pointing in her back and that she was the one to deliver the final blow I thought it was very effective it was a total spin on what was supposed to happen yet a bit underwhelming that Savitar literally just disintegrated was erased from time I felt like they could have cleaned that up a bit more so there was a lot of foreshadowing for Iris's stepping up during the earlier parts of the season like in the episode where Iris went up to a criminal she went into the face of danger head-on even having a gun pulled on her without the help of Team Flash so this is basically saying oh Iris can handle herself she's not afraid but she did have those moments when she was ready to break down it did look like that just when she found out she was gonna die so I think they should have reassured that more. I just feel like the way they portrayed her for the vast majority of the season was wrong, seeing that she didn't have that much to do with Team Flash's plans into stopping Savitar. Also, they portrayed her as a damsel in distress quite a lot, considering how many times we saw that future scene and how many times she was like thinking of her future. So yeah, I think that was a bit bad on their behalf. I feel like they could have wrapped that up better, but I feel like it was very good that Iris was the one to deliver the final blow because it does give a big picture and a big message for all of the girls that watch the TV show and even for the Iris character. It just makes people respect her a bit more. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been my last video on The Flash Season 3. And if you did enjoy, please be sure to drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys for another video very soon. Goodbye. Strong, it doesn't make us weak. Tongue tied to service like shy.